Hello and welcome to Martin Maths, looking at how to use a protractor for acute and obtuse angles. So I'm going to start with looking at an acute angle where the angle opens on the left hand side. So that means to read the protractor when I place it flat on that line with the cross where the lines meet, I'm going to read on the outside. Always read from zero degrees, in this case on the outside. We know it's acute because of that shape and we know that that is less than 90 degrees and I can read up from zero and see that it is about 44 degrees. If an acute angle is on the right-hand side, it'll look like this. It opens out on the right now. Again, lay that flat, make the cross there. And I'm gonna read on the inside now. Again, always reading from zero. I know that it is less than 90, so I'm not gonna say 130 something. I'm rather gonna look up from zero and get to about 42 degrees. If I now go to obtuse angles, I know that obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees and less than 180. Here's one that opens on the left hand side, so I lay that flat there. Reading from the left, i.e. the outside, from zero all the way up to 137 degrees. If it is an obtuse angle on the right hand side, Again, lay that flat, reading, because it's on the right, reading on the inside now, from zero degrees, zero all the way up to 132 degrees. Okay, so there you go, there's acute and obtuse on the left or the right. Just make sure you know which side you're reading, and always make sure you know what type of angle it is, whether it's less than or greater than 90 degrees. There you go, that's Martin Maths, thanks for watching.